I am currently serving a life sentence for the crime of being born a male cheetah with a male sibling. In my opinion, this is an unusually cruel sentence doled out by Mother Nature herself because apparently she's a stark raving bitch. Hey, you can't talk about Mama Nature like that. She'll kick your ass. Oh, what, she gonna give me the scabies? Maybe. Anyway, Mother Nature has ordered me to spend the rest of my life with this guy. Hi! Being part of a coalition is supposed to be some kind of advantage for finding food and chicks. They say male cheetahs living in groups are more likely to get laid because more ladies are hanging out on their turf than on the turf of the single dude. We never get laid. No, we don't. I'm gonna get to that. Oh. Cause it's true, we don't. Coalitions are way less likely to be bothered by other territorial males because who wants to deal with a smelly pack of bros? <laughs> That's funny, Tyler. Also, coalitions can tackle big prey by working together, whereas that single dude could only chase smaller, less threatening animals. All that's fine and good, but I don't know if you noticed, we don't live in the Maasai Mara or the farmlands of Namibia. We live in a high-rise apartment and get our groceries delivered from Trader Joe's. We go drinking at Shorty's on most nights and sleep in our comfy beds. In the same room! Jimmy doesn't help pay for food, he certainly doesn't help impress the ladies, and he's certainly not protecting me from sh**. So why am I stuck with him? Why? I'll tell you why. Because it has been programmed into me. Oh, I've tried to leave, but as soon as I get more than a block away, I feel that pull to go back. And it doesn't help that he's following close behind and calling me in that high-pitched chirp. And then I start answering him, and I run back to him, and I lick his face and purr, and it's humiliating. It's cause you love me, and I love you, Tyler. Oh, I bet if I licked your face right now, you'd start purring. Stop it, stop it, stop come it. Come here, no, come here, no. brother. Mm. All right, enough. You see why we don't get laid? But wait, it gets worse. There's a chance, just a chance, that we could take in another unrelated male. Really? Yeah. Oh, boy. You see, in the wild... Cheetah Brothers have been known to let strangers into their coalitions. Strangers! I hate to admit this, but sometimes when we're out at the bar, we'll spot another male cheetah. He comes in every now and then. And after a few drinks, I'll turn around to Jimmy and I'll ask, Hey, should we ask him to move in with us? <laughs> I love that. He thinks I'm kidding, so that's good. I bet he'd say yes. He gets laid constantly. We get nothing. Why would he want to join us? Because he can't help it. He'd totally say yes. We do not need a third. Oh, and did you know wild cheetah females are sane enough to stay single? Unless they're raising their stupid kids, some of whom tend to hang around way longer than necessary. She's like, don't you think you should go find your own place and get your own food? And they're like... Get off my back, Ma. Now what's for dinner? Remember all that? I really, really wish you wouldn't bring up Mom during one of these. I still don't know why she left. He, he would have lived with her forever. Did I do something? Mom? Mom? Don't, don't, don't start. Mom? She is not going to hear you. Don't even Mom? bother. Mom? Stop it. Mom? So yeah, I'm Tyler, I'm male, I'm a cheetah, I have a brother, and I'm f***ed. Now sing your song. Together forever and ever and ever, together forever with you. If you're a male cheetah, you are together. Together! Ah. Together!
Let's go! <laughs>